Hey, well, welcome back to my channel. All right, today we're doing another seasonal collab. A few of us are sharing all the polishes that we want to wear during October. So I love Halloween. All of October is Halloween month for me. So every mani I wear in October is a Halloween themed mani. So this year I tried to be a little more realistic with my expectations. I am going to be out of town for a week and I'm not really bringing a bunch of polish with me. So there's a whole week out of the month that I won't be wearing Halloween mani. So I tried to scale back a little bit. I do probably have more than what I'm going to get to, but I'm gonna do my best. All right, so first let me just share really quick what's on my nails. I'm wearing Zoya's Sean. Absolutely love, love this polish. And then on top, I'm wearing Tonic Diamond Flames. And this dries matte, which I think is really interesting. I'm not even wearing a matte top coat. It just dries matte. So I thought that was really, really pretty. All right, so I have a couple different categories. Um, I love wearing oranges, greens, purples and then like black and black and orange combination polishes and then of course toppers so let's go and start with oranges so every year this is going to be the fourth year in a row that the first of october i always wear fair maidens mind freak ever since i got it in polish pickup 2019 i always wear it on the first so i'm gonna do that again this year um, sometimes i wear it over black sometimes i do stamping with it sometimes i just wear it orange as is Sometimes I do like a skittle with it. I don't know how I'm gonna wear it, but I do know that I'm gonna wear this on October 1st. And then occasionally if I can squeeze in another mani, I will incorporate this into a second mani, but absolutely love, 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 mind freak. Okay, and then we have Polish for Days Jack-O-Lantern. Got this one last year, Polish Pickup. I love their polishes where they have the little tiny black speckles. I don't know if you can see them, but there's little tiny black speckles. They've been doing that a lot. Um, with their recent collections ever since last year, I think is when they started it. Really, really love this one. Okay, then we have KB Shimmer's Hey There Pumpkin. This one has definitely faded. You can see up at the top how bright and vibrant it used to be. It's definitely faded, at least in the bottle. I don't remember if I wore this last year or not, if I got to it last year. But I definitely will try to get to it this year and see how the color is, if it's changed or not. But either way, it's still a bright, fun orange. Okay, and then last orange I have is Zoya's Amy. It's a really beautiful orange and gold glass flex shimmer. Really, really pretty for undies um, with stamping. Just really nice orange. Okay, then we have greens. So first I have is Virago Varnish. I can't kelp myself. Beautiful, beautiful slime green cream. Amazing for undies with stamping. Again, it's just a really nice staple green cream to have. Okay, then we have Nine Zeros Swamp Thing. Love this one. It's like a swampy green glass flex shimmer. You can see I've worn the heck out of this. I actually have a second bottle that Carolina gave me as a backup because she never wore hers and so she sent me hers. But this is really pretty greeny gold glass flex shimmer. Okay, then we have Native War Paints Rotten Zombie Flesh. I don't remember if I wore this one last year. I haven't worn this one in a long time and I want to say I wanted to wear it last year. I don't remember if I got to it or not, but I definitely want to get to it this year. If not, I'll probably get rid of this. It's just not something that I really wear, but it I should because, you know, it's this interesting olivey swampy green, which is right up my alley. But for some reason, I just don't love native war paints um, polishes. I used to wear them a lot when I first started getting in indies, and I just started discovering other brands. And then since then, I just haven't really worn my native war paints, but I want to try to give this one a go. And then we have another polish for days with the little um, uh, black flecks in there. This one is Shadow on the Moon. This was from last year's Halloween collection. So, so pretty. So look at, they have, so fun. This was from PPU and then this one was from their Halloween collection last year. So pretty. Okay, and then the last green is a favorite. I wear this every year for years, years and years. This is China Glaze, It's Alive. It's just a beautiful olive green gold glitter bomb and I love it um, usually I would wear it as accent nail like one or two accent nails and then the other nails I would wear like a olive green like a black and olive green last year I did I want to say it, it was a twin man or like a group mani that a bunch of us wore this I don't remember I think so and then I ended up wearing I think it was the five fabulous friends I think we did all of manis and I actually wore this on all five nails well, all 10 nails and I loved it so I might do that again this year 
It is a lot of work though, removing this from all 10 nails, but with the um, glitter clips that I use now, it's kind of worth it, I guess, but beautiful, beautiful. I love this. I always have at least one backup of this. Whenever I do swaps with friends that I know enjoy Halloween manis, I always send them one of this. Love, love, love this polish. Okay, then we have purples. So I have two purples here. I have Zoya's Mimi. It's another like of their kind of like glass fleck formula. Look at these, so pretty. I wanna say last year, I feel like I wore these two together last year in some kind of mani. I don't remember though. This is really pretty. This is would be beautiful with um, like undies for, or like a background for bat stamping or witch stamping. Just really, really beautiful. I love purple. I think it's a staple for me for Halloween. And they have cuticulas banished from last year's, or it might have been the year before. I think it was the year before. Love this polish, so beautiful. And it's purple, it's got the little black specks that I love. This just reminds me of like, like bats or something. It's just beautiful, beautiful. I love, love, love this polish. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and then we have my blacks and oranges. For years and years, I've been trying to find my perfect black jelly polish with orange flakies. Everyone for years and years has done the black with the orange glitters, but I've been on the hunt for flakies. So I have two here. This one I haven't worn, but I got this last year. Music, uh, Music City Beauty. Got this one from December 2020, a polish pickup, and I haven't worn it. This one is Plans Canceled. The reason, oh, 2020, Plans Canceled. So this one was the year that everything sucked. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna love this polish. When I swatched it, I got it in 2020, I swatched it. And the formula was really thick, so I haven't wanted to wear it, but it's beautiful. I love those orange, it's got the flakies, it's got the black jelly base, but the formula is really thick, so I might have to thin this out before I wear it, but I should at least try it, because look at that, so, so pretty. And the other one that I have, this one is amazing. I've already swatched this one, I just, I didn't get to wear this one last year, and I really, really wanna wear this one. This one is Night Owl Lacquer, and this one is, and now I'm a wizard. This one was from March, Phantom Flakies of last year, and I got the box specifically for this one. Amazing, well this one, and this was also had that beautiful, beautiful um, Beesney's Lacquer, I forget the name, but it was like that really, really interesting, like ready, kind of like cranberry-ish polish, and then it also had um, Lin, B, Lin B Designs, I believe it was, and it was a purple vampire polish, and it was gorgeous, but anyways, Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I cannot wait to wear this. Like, look at that, look at that flaky. Amazing. Okay, then I just have two that don't really fit into a category. I have a white Crelly. Well, I guess that's its own category. It's a white Crelly, but they're singles. I don't have any other in this category. Um, Rogue Lacquers, Tricks and Spoopy Treats. This was from September Polish Pickup of last year. I wore this last year. It's beautiful. I love this. Amazing formula. So, so pretty. Look at that. Just beautiful. And then I have a brown. This is another Native War Paints. This is Lurkers. I believe I decluttered this at one point because I just don't wear browns. And even though, um, you know, it's Halloween, so you can kind of wear weird, creepy colors. I just was never wearing this. It's very, very sheer. I want to say it's like a four coater, and I think that's why I decluttered it. But I found it rolling around the bottom of my bag. Every now and then I find polishes at the bottom of my bag that I just hadn't gotten rid of yet. And I was planning to try to um, franken it. I don't think I ever got around to franking it, frankening it, but I wanna try to give it a go because it is really interesting. And now that I've been kind of wearing more browns recently, I feel like I should give this one a go because it is interesting with that green shimmer in there, but I don't know. I might end up re-decluttering this. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, last category is toppers. So I have these two that I got. They're not necessarily toppers, but I got these from my Nisha in that um, haul that we did last year, um, swap that we did last year. I thought these would be fun for a glitter placement or like do like a sheer jelly on top and then have to do placement with the glitters because the glitters do not come out. But these are fun, they're really interesting. These are simple colors. This one is Sour Apple Killer the green one, and then this one is Twisted Toffee. So I thought these would be cute to somehow try to do like a jelly sandwich with those. Okay, and then the rest are actual toppers. Okay, so we have 
um, China Glaze, something's brewing. So they had this collection years ago. It was such an interesting collection where they had these toppers and they all had kind of these like hexagon glitters and then little black glitters. One of them was purple and the purple had like black stripes on it looked like witch's stockings. I had that one. Um, and then I had the other one where it was kind of like multicolored orange and speckles. I had that one. I never had this one. I had this speckle lead one and I, like went through it or you know it went bad and then I bought a new one and then I never actually used the new one because by that point I was kind of over that polish I'd used it you know for a couple years and I was over it so I de-stashed that gave it to a friend and then I decided that I wanted to have the green one because I never actually had the green one and so I did earlier I want to say it was earlier this year I think it was like early in the beginning of the year I did a glitter sandwich with this and it was amazing so I want to go ahead and use this one again this one would look really awesome with um like a jelly for, you know, like, um, like another sandwich. Okay. Then we have polished for days. This is Halloween. Love, love, love this one. I've already worn this one. This one's beautiful. Look at that. Those bright, beautiful, fun colors. Okay. Then we have glam polish. I put a spell on you and now you're mine. This one's interesting. I wore this one. I don't remember how I wore it, but I, I do know I wore this one last year. That's interesting. I have to try something different with it this year. Then I have two little toppers that I thinned out. This one is Rogue. I forget what it's called. I wanna say it's like Smashing Pumpkins because I don't have the full size bottle with me. But I wanna say this one is called Smashing Pumpkins. I thin out all of my Rogues because they're beautiful. Like they're, they're, to they're flaky toppers, they're combinations and like they do the metallics and they're just so good but they're always too opaque for me. I like them to be thinner or more sparse. And then this one is China Glaze Pret a Potion. This one is like a weird, creepy looking polish and it kind of dries. Like it's got like a weird, chunky texture, which is meant to be, but it was too opaque. And so I thinned it out so it can be a little more sparse. And hopefully I can get some use out of this one. So it is gonna be like an ugly, weird, creepy, but that's kind of the intention. Okay, then I have these four new ones that I got from Sally Hansen Instry. They have this glow-in-the-dark collection all there's six of them I got picked up for they're all glow-in-the-dark I'm not sure how I'm gonna wear these because I did swatch these on the nail wheel they're not really I don't know they're too sheer to really wear on their own and then I did try swatching them over different colors and I can't really tell how I want to wear them I mean they all look good over black but how many black manis am I gonna wear so I don't know I might I might end up just doing a black mani and then do like a skittle with all of these toppers and wear them all in one mani because I can't quite figure out how to wear these all, but I'm, I'm gonna experiment. So I have this one. This one is Purple Potion and they all glow in the dark. Really pretty. And then this one is Squad Ghouls. Ghouls. Squad Ghouls. That one's pretty. It's got that interesting shimmer. This one is really interesting. I like this one. This one is Gord Just. And this is orange. It's got little black glitters and then it's got little orange glitters. And these are all in like a colored, if you can't tell, they're in like colored sheer jelly base. And then this one is ghost, uh, Ghosted. And this one has little tiny green there's little teeny tiny tiny bar glitters and then there's little teeny tiny green um like circle glitters but they're very tiny very s tiny so again i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna wear these but i'll figure something out all right guys that was everything that i want to try to get to this october um leave any comments down below do you guys love halloween are you into it as much as i am it seems like a lot of people really love they either really go ham with Halloween and they, the whole month is Halloween month or they only do like one or two manis towards the end of October. Let me know down below what your preferences are. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next video. And also make sure to check out everyone else's videos. I'm going to link everyone's channel down below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.